In the last 12 months, the United States has been no stranger to violent riots and protests. In the summer of 2020, Black Lives Matter advocates took to the streets, bringing attention to social injustices in the nation. Protests that at times turned violent. And as you saw yesterday, supporters of the president scaled the U.S. Capitol walls, protesting the counting of the electoral ballots. However, many pointed out what were to them differences in law enforcement actions during the Capitol protests compared to BLM. ABC 7's Morgan Durden reports. Police firing rubber bullets, making arrests, and deploying tear gas is a common theme among Black Lives Matter protests. During one single D.C. protest in June, 88 people were arrested. We saw an almost immediate response in the BLM protests uh, because they were worried about riots and everything. It was a time of great division for our nation, and Wednesday night brought another riot. But the circumstances were different, and local Democratic leader Gus Trujillo says so was the police response. I think a lot of people are pretty upset in that it seems like this group was given some kind of privilege because they were not uh, immediately tear gassed, immediately pushed back, immediately beaten or anything, uh, whereas the Black Lives Matter protest was. As people climbed up the walls of the Capitol building and broke down the doors like they were pins on a bowling alley, congressmen and women feared for their lives. People were already in the Capitol before the National Guard was given the green light. 56 arrests were made and tear gas was deployed at some point during the night, but not enough to stop people from running rampant and stealing from Capitol offices. I, I think that everybody has that same question. is like, why were they given a different kind of treatment? Then the other protests and the other protests were nowhere near trying to get into the pedestal of our American democracy, which is the Capitol. Wednesday was an afternoon full of violence and unrest, but it also once again highlighted what some see as a racial double standard. Reporting for ABC 7 News in Amarillo, I'm Morgan Durden. And the Secretary of the Army and Chief of D.C.'s Police Department say that they did not expect these events to occur. It was also announced today that a seven foot non scalable fence is being put up around the entire U.S. Capitol for at least the next 30 days. Now,